He was the man who knew too much. Sadiq Bacha knew the exact role played by A Raja in the 2G scam. He's been found dead in highly mysterious and suspicious circumstances. Is there reason to believe there could have been foul play? How important was this man for the 2G probe? That's the center stage face-off for tonight. Joining us, we've got Subramanyam Swami, president of the Janta Party, the man who's been leading the crusade in the 2G Pro, pushing the government forward. We've got Parun Joy Guhar Kurta, who's done several reports which have played a pivotal role in unraveling this investigation. Headlines today, senior editor Sandeep Bamza has been tracking developments very closely. V. Krishna Anand is one of the senior most journalists in Chennai. He's been tracking a Raja, his political fortunes and Sadiq Bacha's involvement in this. The first question we're taking on the show this evening is the family's delay in informing the police a cause for suspicion. This morning, Sadiq Bacha went in to bathe at about 9.30 in the morning. It was at 1.30 in the afternoon that the police was told that there is a body at home. Why was there such a long delay? Is there a cause for suspicion? The one man who believes there is a cause for suspicion is Subramaniam Swami and I'll put my first question to him. Mr. Swami, why do you believe that Sadiq Bacha's death is not a mere case of suicide as the police is claiming, but there could be foul play, sir? Well, you see, uh, uh, we have to look at this at the prima facie stage just now. Uh, it's quite clear that he was very important uh, because he was the bag man for uh, Raja. He is the one who knew where the money was flowing. He is the one who had the contact with the Hawala operators in Kirakarai in the coast of Tamil Nadu. He was the one who was dealing with Dubai. So he, he is basically a key person as far as the financial flows was concerned. Now, he uh, dies. And the family takes, uh, uh, you know, a long time to report. Well, that's uh, the first thing. So, obviously, I would like the CBI. Uh, I'm glad that the Tamil Nadu government has agreed to a CBI inquiry, as I demanded earlier in the morning. Uh, and uh, I would say that now the Apollo Hospital must be asked to give a, a report. And a full autopsy should be held uh, and go into the background of the circumstances in which he was uh, either committed suicide okay. or was... Uh, persuaded to Not much is known at this time about Sadiq Bacha, but he played a crucial role in the 2G scam. Sandeep, explain to our viewers this man who began a few years ago with a company with a capital of 1 lakh rupees in just 2004. Within 11 years, the revenue soared to 600 crore rupees. How crucial was he in the 2G investigation? If you look at the rise of A. Raja uh, at the center, which is essentially when he became the environment minister, around the same time, more or less in synchronicity, you have Sadiq Bacha appearing on the scene and his rise from there on is exponential. So you have A. Raja, Environment Minister, subsequently Telecom Minister and you have Sadiq Bacha on whose, uh, who sets up a company called Greenhouse Promoters. Uh, A. Raja's wife Parmeshwari is on the board of directors. His brother A. Kalai Perumal becomes the joint managing director. R.C. Uh, Ramesh Kumar, one of his nephews, A. Raja's nephews, becomes uh, another director on the board. And then there are other entities which are created by uh, Sadiq Bacha in conjunction with A. Raja. And these grow exponentially over the next few years. So many people believe that these were fronts architected by A. Raja himself working in close collusion uh, with Sadiq Bacha, okay. who, was, who was more or less his frontman as also his back.